I've had this miter saw stand and been using it for about a year and a half. I'm gonna go ahead and do a review today of pros and cons. It's a WEN uh, miter saw stand and uh, I'm gonna review some of the things we've been doing uh, with it and uh, how it's been working out. Uh, one of the first things I would like to mention about this is this is recommended. The uh, stand is only recommended to have a 10 inch miter saw on it. Uh, as you probably noticed here, uh, I actually have a 12 inch metable saw. Been using it for a year and a half, have not had any issues with it trying to tip over or anything. Uh, before I bought it, I did read a couple reviews online with multiple people uh, saying that uh, 12 inch would work just fine and it has been working fine for me. The included hardware to mount uh, with the nuts here and the bolts that go in from the bottom and this um, are all included. So when I got this out, I was able to uh, put it into place with no problem. These holes on the actual miter saw were already there. So it was actually very simple to put onto these um, clamps that go on top and to mount it. Uh, here's a few uh, specs on here. So I've been very happy and using a 12 inch have not had any problems. It does come with one included clamp. Um, wish I had something that you can clamp a little bit easier, but if you're using the same type, let's say two by four or anything, uh, of the same thickness, uh, it's not too hard to uh, screw and unscrew, but it would be better if we had a different type of clamp that might be a little bit faster. Um, when it's fully extended, this arm from the end here to the blade, it's exactly 36 inches. So full span from end to end when it's fully expanded as it is now is 72 inches or six feet. Um, there's multiple adjustments depending on the height that you want to set it to uh, up here. Um, again, you just turn it and it loosens up and, and it goes up and down to the proper size so it can be straight with your saw. Um, it has another adjustment down here to see if you want to move your clamp in and out. And over here is for the whole thing. If I loosen it up, push it in. there so you can completely get it out of the way if for some reason you don't need it uh, or you want to make it to where it's a little bit tighter push it all the way in and now you have something a lot closer to it if you don't have the room on either side which sometimes happens um, been very happy like I said with the function a um, couple of the downfalls because it doesn't have any wheels on the bottom, it uh, like other ones, so makes it a little more difficult to break down. Since I had the room in my garage, I've never had to break it down to uh, just kind of slide it off to the side and have not had any issues with that. Uh, so that has not been uh, something that I've needed. Uh, but if you're out there and you do need to break it down often or carry it, a uh, 12 inch saw with the weight of the stand it, it is quite a bit so to continue to break it down uh, would be difficult uh, for this price I actually was very surprised that it came with wheels uh, with a with a roller I mean and um, what what's really been nice about that is if you're feeding the wood and you're doing multiple cuts you're able to pull the wood in make your cut and kind of slide and it makes it very smooth um, on this end here, I have been able to use it as a stop as well. You put your wood here and it stops it. Nice clean line. Uh, I've been able to use that uh, often. Um, so all in all, I've been very happy uh, that I made the investment in this. And um, I would definitely buy it again if I had the chance compared to other ones uh, because of all the benefits that I've ran into.
very steady, very sturdy. It was a little more sturdy than I thought by the uh, price, but uh, all in all, uh, good product for me. If you would like to see how we handle the dust collection on the saw, there's a link in the description below. Thanks for watching. Thank